Well, it's uh, it's been a long road for coffee. I got into coffee real young, like uh, early, early high school days, grade nine, drinking coffee on the bus and didn't know anything between ground coffee, instant coffee, good coffee, bad coffee, anything. It was just something that kept me awake through school. So through my 20s, I kind of spent a lot of my 20s traveling around all over the world. I uh, moved to Hawaii, actually. I uh, was living in Hawaii on a coffee farm for a little while. That was in a little place called Kona, which is known as like, one of the best coffees in the world is Kona coffee. When I moved back to farm with my dad on our farm, I got back into big brand coffee, drive through coffee, and could hardly drink it. And um, started looking for better coffee, and being from super small rural Ontario, it's tough to find really good coffee. So I started roasting my own in a little air popcorn maker. I got this little thing I found in my wife's grandparents' basement, and it just kind of became an obsession. I started reading books. I started following everything I could on all the social medias, and really, really dove head first in. And I mean, it did become a business and I, I love coffee for the business, but even without the business, it was it was, just became a passion. So freshness and the grind are two huge things. And then the brew method, like if you have a $20 Mr. Coffee coffee maker at home and you throw six teaspoons in and dump way too much water on it, it's gonna be terrible tasting coffee, even if it's the best beans in the world. Fresh grind with a burr grinder, the right amount of coffee and put it in a French press with the right temperature of water and do it. It takes the same amount of time and you're gonna have the best cup of coffee you, you've ever had. Kintor coffee offers super high quality due to its freshness like I was saying like it's all super fresh roasted we don't roast in-house we roast in London any order that we're coming in we talk to the roastery hey we need we need this roasted for this order so it's all super fresh roasted coffee on super high high quality stuff what I have to say about running a business in Oxford County is it has been absolutely incredible we rented this space just to bag coffee in and, and get into stores which we already had a ton of support on the wholesale side but when we opened the cafe I I put a Facebook message out and was like, hey, thinking about opening a cafe in Embro, uh, would anybody be interested in this? And there was like 2,000 responses like, yes, yes, we will travel from Tilsonburg, we'll travel from Stratford, like please open it, that's a drive through place, this town needs something like this. And people stuck to their words, like there's regulars that come from Stratford or Tilsonburg for sure. People like the coffee, it's, uh, it's, it's great coffee. <laughs> it's red like wildfire too, we've, uh, we've had some luck in the past year or so, I've uh, did a deal with Loblaws uh, in 2021 and from a few local stores to uh, all over Ontario now like we were in about 30 or 40 stores before and then we got up to a little bit over 200. I can't imagine starting a business anywhere other than Oxford County it's been uh, it's been so supportive through the whole time we have about 18 or 20 different local vendors around the shop um, all super super local so we have vendors from Embro we have vendors from Woodstock uh, Tavistock, St. Mary's, um, Ingersoll, all kinds of different stuff. For the love of local, invest in your community and support the growth that supports us all. And drink Kintor Coffee Cold Brew. <laughs>